happy Monday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to show you all this stuff I have for you today. So the title of today's uh, Facebook Live is 20 Beautiful Card Examples that will inspire you. So I was really busy this weekend. I actually uh, was involved in an online conference uh, that was hosted by another demonstrator. Uh, she's like way up there and she does really great uh, trainings and tutorials. So I signed up for it and boy, did I make a lot of stuff. So in today's tutorial, I am going to show you all the beautiful cards and 3D projects that I made. And I made them so that I could share them with you to inspire you. And I hope they do inspire you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. Um, I teach card tutorials um, to help card makers with their creativity blog by teaching um, des art design principles. Um, anyway, so that's what I do, and I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning here on my Facebook page at 9 a.m. Central Time. And uh, Central Time is Texas time for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm here in Texas. All right, um, before we get started, let me uh, switch the camera view over. There we go. And there we are. All right, so, and get this off of there. Um, I have my catalog here, and what I'm going to do is, as I pull the section of cards that I made with, because I used many different stamp sets, all kinds of stuff, I'm going to share with you the page number um, so you can see where the stamp set is, and then show you the projects. But like I said, before I get started, real quick, don't forget my card class on how to use Stampin' Blends to create dimension, to create... Um, uh, kind of a 3D look to your images. This card class, uh, in, the sign up ends on Wednesday. So Wednesday's the last day to sign up for this. And you can find the information on my blog, uh, creatingwithchristina.com. All right, let's go on and get started. So my first stamp set is the kangaroo. Is this not the cutest thing? Oh my gosh. My camera can't even show it all to you, but uh, this little precious kangaroo and the bundle comes with these dies, which, and one of the dies cuts a slit in her belly here, and this piece here um, fits down in the belly, so, we, and you can uh, attach the roses or the hearts to it, and so you pull the roses up and there's a little message that comes out of her belly. Oh my gosh, it is too cute, her little pouch. Okay, um, let me show you what I made. And this is page 17, so let me grab these. All right, the first thing I did was a 3D box, and these boxes are over on the uh, Valentine section, or um, you can look in the back of the catalog, but uh, really, I mean, they're they're big. They're, they can hold a lot of stuff in them, and it comes out, and uh, so you just decorate this front part, and isn't that cute? So just for you and the little kangaroo, and I tied some string around it. All right, I used the kangaroo again here, and uh, this one, yeah, this is the one I used to pull out. So let me show you how this works. So her little heart's here, and you pull it up and says, love you much. Can you see? Let me pull it up even closer. Love you much. And it just sticks inside her little pouch like that. Isn't that precious? I love this. Um... I didn't use just the kangaroo. This, um, that was so sweet of you, comes from the strawberry stamp set that I'll show you in just a minute. All right, here is another kangaroo that we made, and uh, I used the flowers this time. Um, I didn't put a sentiment on here. Um, I, this is just a blank card, so just a note card um, you could use for anything. And finally, this one, I just used the hearts, and the way we created this is we stamped the, the heart stamp twice, and then we stamped it again and cut it out and popped it up on a dimensional. So there's lots of beautiful hearts there, and it says thank you. And then these cute little hearts also come from, oh, the snail mail. These are the resin hearts from the snail mail suite, and today is a great day. It's all about you the great per person you are, and the great things you do. Thank you. And this, um, we use the Happy Thoughts stamp set um, almost all weekend long. Almost all the cards have this stamp set. This is just 
the best investment. It has congratulations, thank you, happy birthday, thinking of you, and then inside sentiments for the inside of your card. Really awesome. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, look at all these people. Hey, good morning, Kelly. It's raining in Tennessee. And Susan, sunny Florida. Nancy, good morning. And Norma. Um, Rhonda Wade taught the workshop, Norma. So I was with Rhonda Wade all weekend. All right, there is that card. All right, so those are the ones that I made with the kangaroo suite. All right, the next one is, yeah, the perennials. All right, this was a beautiful suite. Um, so it's pretty perennials, and then it has these dies that go with it to punch out the stamps, and then it also has, and these are the two dies I made that don't go with the stamps. They're separate um, to make a uh, filler thing. Anyways, I'll show you in just a sec. Uh, but anyways, it's called Pereni Pretty Perennials. All right, so let me pull this out. Um, and we use this happy um, also a lot. This is really cool. So let me find that. All right, here's Pretty Perennials. I only made a couple of things with Pretty Perennials, but this is what I wanted to share with you. So these are part of the die cut and we made them stickers by putting the uh, adhesive backing on the cardstock before we ran it through the uh, die cutting machine and then we could just peel the backing off and they were like stickers and we just randomly put them all over the card um, then trimmed off the ones that were hanging over the edge then we used vellum and we cut out these leaves this light is this not Okay, hold on. I think my light is not. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, so this vellum here we cut out with the die cut. Now, Happy uh, does not have a die. So we had to fussy cut around the word happy. But I think it turned out really cute. And then the birthday also. So happy birthday. Um, that was just a beautiful card. And then inside, just wanted uh, to send some happy thoughts. And that comes from the happy thoughts one. All right. And then we made this cute little 3D box. Is this not precious? Oh my gosh. And the cute little flower on the front. And it holds, I don't know, maybe a, um, um, oh, truffle. What are those truffles and the wrappers called? Yeah, just one of those would fit in there. Or a Rocher, you know, little chocolate hazelnut candy would fit in there. So I made those. And then, um, this isn't perennial sweets, but um, I wanted to show you. This was another box we decorated, and this is how big the box is. It holds two uh, full-size uh, fortune cookies. Isn't that cute? So we use that, and there we go. Oh, my wrapper in there. Okay, so we just wrapped uh, paper around, put a heart and ribbon. So really cute. So that was the pretty perennials. Let me put those back. The next one is, oh my gosh, the seashell one. All right, um, so this is the seashells. Um, so the seashell stamp set has all these gorgeous seashells. And then the die um, cuts out this big large piece, but then it also has individual dies to cut out seashells. Really beautiful, but we didn't do that. We didn't actually even use this. What we used was the embossing folder. So there is an embossing folder in the suite um, right here. Let me pull it up so you can see it. There you go. You can see the embossing folder there. And we took very vanilla. Um, we embossed it. Let me show you. Can you see it? It's cut there. Oh, you can see it beautifully there. We took the embossing folder, embossed the very vanilla. This is the pearlescent paper that's in the suite also. Um, and then a stitched oval, thinking of you. We put some of those resin hearts on there and this the twine. And then, and then the inside just wanted to send some happy thoughts your, your way, thinking of you. So we use the happy thoughts sentiment with this one. Um, but, I mean, it's so simple, but it's so elegant. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you can see that pearlescent. Isn't that pretty? All right, so, and that's right here. So this suite is just amazing. And this is called the Sea, sea and Sand Suite. And the stamp is uh, Friends Are Like Seashells. So that was that one. And that's the only card I made with that. Um, okay, now, now I made a lot with this one. This is the Strawberry Sweet Strawberries. Whoops, I just dropped my... 3D box, where did it go? There we go. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, Mima says, um, I have double-sided adhesive sheets but never use them. Oh my gosh, I, me too, Mima. Um, they'd been sitting in my die cutting box forever and I'm so glad that they showed me how to use them uh, to make stickers. It was great. Um, so we're on the sweet strawberries now and look at all these precious things I made. Oh my gosh. So here's another 3D one and what we did is we punched two strawberries and glued the center and folded it up so it looked like a um, like a 3D strawberry. Oh my gosh, is that not the most clever? Um, and leaves, and then it like I say, it, these boxes, treat boxes are so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I need to share with you about those real quick because people are gonna ask me. And here they are right here. Love you always treat boxes, and they're on page 11. And you get, you get quite a few of them actually. They're like really great. Um, here they are, number four, and you get 10 boxes for $9. So they're just a little less than a dollar each. And um, if you've got someone you want to send some, I mean, these can be used all year long. These are great for birthday gifts, for, um, yeah, just anything, not just Valentine's. So those are really a great investment. Now this box we made, um, we scored it, we, um, made it all, we have a little string here to tie the lid on, and it's about the size of one of those strawberry breakfast bars that could fit inside there. <laughs> Clever. And then we um, took the marker and flicked it to make this spray. Oh, we had just so much fun this weekend. Oh my gosh. All right, so what else did we make with it? And here's the stamp set. And so you don't have to color the strawberries if you don't want to, they have a, a color fill stamp. It has flowers, uh, leaves, all these great sentiments. That was so sweet of you. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. Uh, just for you, thank you, and hello there. So it's great. This is a great stamp set. And it also matches the berry, uh, uh, berry paper and berry stamp set that are in the celebration that you get for free for a $100 purchase. You get that paper and that other stamp set. Um, that all coordinates with this one. It's really awesome. And and it has a punch that goes with it. If you can see the punch, it punches the strawberry and the leaf and the flower and the top of the strawberry out. All right, let me show you the cards I made. So here's the first one. We used our blender brush and brushed some ink on here. We stamped tone on tone back here. Then we um, stamped and used the color fill stamps to do the flowers, strawberries, and leaves. Put a little bow on there. And uh, so that, we did that. I haven't even done the inside. <laughs> I just did so much this weekend. All right, this one, we, um, this piece here, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, I ran it through the Subtles embossing folder. And then this paper is from the Snail Mail. Uh, happy birthday, you sweet thing, the strawberries, and that's it. I didn't do anything on the inside yet either on that one. All right, and here's one more. Now, this piece doesn't have a die. This one you'd have to fussy cut. This comes from the Sweetly Stitched uh, Shapes. Thank you, you sweet thing. This paper is from Snail Mail. Okay, and so we did that one. So those were all the cards I did with Sweet Strawberry. Are y'all just like overwhelmed? There's just like so much we did this weekend. It was just so fun. So that was Sweet Strawberry. And let's see, where are we now? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey Chick Birthday. When the catalog first came out, there was just a stamp set. And then people were saying, Oh my gosh, this matches the celebration from 2017. I still have it. Oh my gosh. And they and so then Sampin' Up said, well, let's bring that stamp set back and then let's also make dies for both stamp sets. So here we go. Um, whoops, here it is. So here's the stamp set, but you can now get dies to cut these chicks out. And I totally forgot to grab the celebration one that you can order, and this will be available February 1st. So I'll, I'll give you more information on February 1st. But this was the Hey Chick Celebration one from 2017. And um, I'm so glad I didn't sell it and I saved it. So, and there are dies for it and dies for this. And let me show you the cards that I made. So here's this stamp set. 
and the dies for that. And then, oh my gosh, you're gonna love this. So here's the first one. Are those little chicks coming out of the eggs just so cute? And they have little birthday hats on them. Let's celebrate you, isn't that precious? Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, and this little fence is a part of the die cut. Let me pull it up so you can see the detail. I don't know if you'll be able to see the detail. A little bit there, okay. So there's that one. Oh, and I used the wood planks embossing folder back here. So that was really cute. Then this one, oh my gosh, is she just not precious? She has her little foot up. You're still a spring chicken. <laughs> oh, and this is the Love You paper, the black and white paper. Oh my gosh, this paper is gonna be used for so much stuff all year long. I love this paper. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh, so the balloon's tied to her little uh, tail feathers there. And I cut a second balloon out and stick it in there so it had two balloons pulling her up. And then the happy birthday is a die cut, okay? And so those were the cards I made with, hey, birthday chick, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this stamp set, so cute. Hey Marty, how are you? Good morning this morning. And Dorothy, Dorothy's here, and Susan. I love the strawberry cards, great. Yes, well that's why I made them, so to inspire you all. That's why I made all this. All right, last one. And I think I just love, I'm gonna do a class with this. I'm gonna make a class for snail mail. I love the snail mail. Oh my gosh. There in the snail mail die cuts, you can make this cute little baby envelope and a little card that comes out of it. Too precious. Some hearts, mushrooms, and then the snails. Um, you've got mail, hello. You snailed it. <laughs> Happy mail uh, in clothes. So that's the snail mail. And now look at all these things I made with it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So this first one holds a Hershey's chocolate bar. Okay, so it's a little 3D project. And this happy is from the perennials. We just uh, cut that out. This is from perennials, sending you lots of happy. And then we cut the little snails out. We did a little bit of um, uh, blending brush here on the bottom of the circle to kind of give it a little something and it was just really simple it was a six by six piece of paper that we scored and then stapled the bottom and tied some string around it and like I said it holds a Hershey bar in there which I didn't have a Hershey bar <laughs> well I want one now do you want a Hershey bar aren't they delicious love it okay I'm going crazy now and then congratulations and we punched a couple of the little um, small blooms out and, and so this is just using the paper. And the congratulations comes from happy thoughts. Okay, so today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are, the great things that you do. And then we just cut this little snail out and put it there too. So isn't that, I love the snail mail. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, oh, this is a fun fold. Are you ready? So you pull it up like this. <laughs> Let me pull it down so you can see a little better. So it's like that and you just pull it up. Isn't that cool? Okay, so um, just using the paper. Um, this again is from Happy Thoughts. And then we put a heart on the inside and the sentiment. So that was that, that was really cute. And then finally, um, this is snail mail paper and it's got little hearts all over it. So the snail mail paper is great for Valentine's if you're doing a, um, or a anniversary or just to tell someone you love them. And this is a thank you card we made using the, the heart, uh, bundle punch and uh, some vellum back here. I like vellum because it kind of gives, um, you have this, you can see the designer paper through it, but it's a softer um, part of it because of the vellum. And then we open it up and it has the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. Thank you. So, Ladies and gentlemen, that was all I made this weekend, but boy, was it a fun weekend. And I hope you all enjoyed all these beautiful cards. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I am going to be posting them, taking pictures individually and posting them uh, randomly throughout, like on my uh, Instagram and uh, my Facebook page and then our group page, our uh, Christina's Creative uh, Stampers uh, private group. And if you're not a member of the private group, go over there and ask for um, to be part of it and I'll um, let you come in. I, I've got to approve you though because it is a private group. Um, we want uh, 
we just want to feel safe uh, sharing cards and things like that over there on the group, where this page is public and anybody in the world can see this page. And that, um, but, but that's so that people can find me. Anyways, I'm just rambling on. Well, I'm glad you liked them all, Linda and Susan <laughs> and Marty. Loved all of that. Um, wow. Okay. Don't forget, Wednesday's the last day to sign up for the Darling Donkeys Blends class. Um, I've got quite a few people who have already signed up for it, so I hope you guys will take advantage of that. I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to blend and make those donkeys look 3D. All right. I will be back Wednesday for the card challenge. If you have not entered the card challenge, um, here on this page, pinned to the top, is the... Um, place where you post your challenge, and it's a butterfly, <coughs> excuse me, card challenge. So create a card with using butterflies and post it there for your chance to win a prize. All right. Love you guys. See you Wednesday. Bye-bye.